So the title of the show is uh, Closer Than They Appear, and it's based on objects in the mirror, closer than they appear. And I, I thought that was an interesting metaphor for um, you, you're looking in the mirror, and what's behind you appears that it's closer than it is. And you're driving forward, but you need that rear view mirror to look. What's behind you is very important. And um, for me, memories and things that, events that happened in the past, some of them are so emotionally tied or um, they're so present that they don't stay back in the past. They are constantly infiltrating the present and they become part of my present consciousness. And so to me it was a, a good metaphor, like the rear view mirror lies. It tells you, it doesn't tell you exactly where those objects are and just as your memory lies and, and your emotions can um, alter what you're seeing and distort what you're seeing. So that was the, the reason for the title. And I've done a series of um, these road paintings, often monochromatic. Um, I like using the monochromatic because it helps me really see the shapes and the different um, mm -hmm. things that happen. It, it, and whenever I give myself limitations, then the work comes out stronger because I have to push against those limitations and it's a challenge and it, um, I love color and I could throw every color in every painting and so to pull that away from that is a really hard thing for me to do and then, and then more comes out of it. So I'm always, I'm always in my studio just trying to create problems. <laughs> create problems, <laughs> problems and then that solutions. I can hopefully solve, yeah. One thing that's interesting about this installation is you have very large paintings, some medium scale works, and then very small works. And in the installation design, we've chosen to, to alternate very small paintings with very large ones. And they both have equal amounts of power, which isn't always the case. Okay. So when we, we see the, uh, the drawing over here that uh, we've installed in the show, and you're, these drawings are from memory as well. Yeah, there are. Nothing is nothing is plein air. Nothing, nothing is plein air is, at all. It's, it's really. I'm not interested in representing. Reportage. I'm mm -hmm. I'm interested in paint as a language and how mm -hmm. you can tell a story with paint and how something abstract can become figurative and therefore it's your own language. The painters that I like the yeah. most are the ones that really have created a way of putting down the paint that's uniquely their own and mm -hmm. and it is a language. Just I mean. Artists often have to write stuff, we have to write statements and... Is that the hardest thing for you to it's do? It's hard for me, not because I don't know what to say, but I have so many thoughts swirling around and to pin them down into words mm -hmm. that make sense because some of it is just so... It's, it's, it moves, you know, it constantly, as soon as you try to say one word, it doesn't, it kind of means the other word. And so <laughs> that's what painting is exciting, is it can, it, it can be both things. It can be a tree limb and it can be a red stain and it can be a, mm -hmm. you know, an animal leg or a foot or it can be anything. And mm -hmm. so all those things come together in a way that to me and it's never is existed more true before. than I can get in mm -hmm. words. Yeah.